had 48 hours to code, up to $10,000 to win, and zero coding experience. Now, this is the world's largest collegiate hackathon. Hackathons are sort of like marathons for coders, and every year college students from around the country lock in here and spend 48 hours coding what could be the next big thing. Now, CalHack says that everyone, no matter their major, can attempt a hackathon, and this is what we've decided to test. Now this is us. Almost none of us have ever touched code before, except for these two, they're gonna be helping us out. And here's our mission. One, we're gonna register as a team. Two, we wanna deliver and present a finished project that we've all worked on. And three, spend all 48 hours of the hackathon. So today we're gonna to answer the question, can non-coders survive a hackathon? It is 7 p.m. and Saturday, October 15th of the hackathon. Yeah. Uh, we're doing some really important work. Currently, we're working on Canva, which is a really easy thing that we know how to use. Convert this to HTML, and then these two are working on the decor and stuff. A little nervous that we're not going to do well, but. <laughs> are you just feeling that now? <laughs> yeah, I have a contingency plan. Oh, okay. This is what we have so far, guys. All right, don't get too excited. It's not really done yet, but yeah. Recap, Clip Search is our project idea where it's automatic editing based on local transcription data, and it's converting daunting footage into digestible content. So we're locating spoken keywords and uploaded footage to produce clips that feature the selected phrase, which will hopefully be one of the best editing assistants that you could ever have. This is, this is a pretty decent demo. <laughs> it's gonna take a second, but... Process. After <gasps> finishes processing, it should give us like, a transcript of what's being said. Okay. No way. No way. Next step <laughs> is just to get our editing done. So use the timestamps of these words to help edit our videos. Okay. Next step. What are you, I guess, working on today for your project? So my girlfriend is also here at Cal Hacks. She's over there, um, somewhere over there. Somewhere there. Uh, so I really like my girlfriend, and my idea is that I'm gonna make a focus app. Like it helps me focus. Yeah. So what it does, it, it'll use the webcam to track my eyes. And when I'm looking at my screen, yeah. as a reward, it'll flash a picture of my girlfriend every minute. Um, and it'll okay. kind of like condition me into keeping my eyes on the screen yeah, and, yeah. instead of like looking at my phone or- It'll like or, train you. Yeah. It's like yeah. a dopamine system. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So we want to build like a 3D, like a VR scribble knots. And as you can see, we're like, Getting a lot of code done right now. Me and Seon are making Uber for pets. Like the animal? I don't know. I guess you'll like find out at the presentation. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Y'all give me a sneak. Give me a wow. Do you think you're gonna? Do you think you're gonna win? I mean, if we actually implement it, yeah. <laughs> How's your guys' idea going? <laughs> we scrapped it. it. We scrapped it. it and we what are you doing here? <laughs> you're just continuing. Dude, we gave up like two hours ago, so it's too late to go home. Okay, it is, um, oh my god, it is 10.17 p.m. How are we feeling? Uh, we're feeling like it's Rockstar time. So I agree. We're, uh, no sponsorship to Rockstar, but we're uh, up and on this tonight, so yeah. We're here for the full hacker experience, so that definitely means staying until 2 a.m. and with all the energy drinks possible, so yeah. See you later. It's thinking, folks. There it is. And here's our response. We posted this, get speech, which gives us a speech as well as each word and its confidence level for when it was spoken during the video. This is huge for us folks. Uh, next up is Addy. She's going to be helping on the UI. So pretty much all the back end logic is ready to go. Now it's up to you, Addy. She's going to figure out a lot of the front end stuff for you guys, the users. Okay, um, feeling highly caffeinated and somehow still incredibly tired. And I'm, I'm feeling the beaten down part they say happens before the end. The night is very young though. We have a long night ahead of us, so uh, it's just the start of things. Yeah. Apparently the night is very young. <laughs> okay, so it is 1 a.m. officially. We're gonna pull around and see what's happening. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are asleep. There's these quiet rooms. Um, we keep drinking the free yerba that they're giving us, so I'm really dedicated to the whole like <laughs> caffeinated craze thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know, 1 a.m. Hackathon, Cal TV, world's largest collegiate hackathon. Um, and we're having a blast.
definitely like 3.30 a.m. I'm on stage at the moment. I definitely feel like I'm learning a lot. I don't necessarily, I don't, okay, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be like a coder by the end of this, but I definitely think I'll have a better understanding of at least uh, the CS community. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Wait, are you using blankets? Where are we? What's going on? What? Get a blanket. Parker, where? Where? Par wait, Parker, are they in here? Wait, why do you want a blanket? Do you think, because we're, we're here, we're here for the full hackathon experience, do you think sleeping over is like an essential part of that? Staying up all night is definitely like a Not even sleeping. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I did my first hackathon like right when COVID hit, and it was more of like, a, oh, I have nothing better to do. I might as well like meet some people and try to learn something. And then I made like some of my closest friends in the red, so I definitely like, continue doing it because And we are still coding, as are our most people. Okay, what do you guys think about my bed setup? Good? Yeah? I think it's lit. Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the optimal Halifax experience. I'm going to try and get some sleep, so we'll see. Um, in the meantime, I think people are just going to keep working. So, yeah. Okay, it is currently... Um, I'm trying to stay quiet. <laughs> um, currently 7 a.m. It's not done. <laughs> a lot of people from the people that are out, the lights are still shining very bright. And uh, it's Sunday. Dude, we haven't done shit for <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been like four hours since I saw you guys last. Any updates? Uh, uh, <laughs> we've learned a lot about ourselves and each other. We talked about like our projects, you know. Like, um, four, five hours left. I'm on three hours of sleep. How many are you on? Oh my god. It is 7.33 a.m. Parker's just woken up. <laughs> Ready to go already. This is, this is many things. Healthy is not one of them. I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm not even doing anything and I can't do this. <laughs> Parker, you have to be able to do it. We have a website. Okay, so I've um, made this in Canva. My contribution, yes. you know, I've given up on the fact that I'm actually going to code in any of this, but I've learned a lot. No, you had one line of code. I had one line of code. Yes. Um, it's not going to make it into the final project. <laughs> um, the problem with this like group dynamic that we have is How do you think I know? these guys are the coders, right? So we're kind of left with the design aspect, but they're also better at coding the design aspect. <laughs> so there's nothing that we can do that's actually better than them. My plan is when he's done coding, I'm going to ask him to also code the website. <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> so then I'll do what I can. We still have to finish our pitch deck finish our landing page and finish our actual code that, <laughs> uh, that is at this hackathon. Uh, I mean, so yeah. Obviously we're making decent progress, but um, it's definitely not going to be finished. We'll have something done. Like, we'll have something. We'll have something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And honestly, they probably didn't expect this from us, to be honest. So we're feeling decent. Are done with hacking. How do you guys feel? It's a blessing. Let's kill this pitch. Hopefully we don't crack under the pressure. If we do, hopefully they forgive us. A little nerve wracking. We're confident with our idea. I believe in you guys. 
Yeah. We got this. Apparently. Editing is one of the most sort of time-consuming processes and it's really frustrating. It's really my least favorite stage of the post-production process. Some of the videos we make, like a 10-minute one, could be on average 45 minutes of content that we film. To do a lot of time is transcribe our interviews. Yep. Uh, and so instead of doing that... It's a great idea. So anyway, very cool uh, job. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> it's very fun to be able to pitch silly ideas that you've made. Not hey, hey, silly. Hey, 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 hey. Silly. Super, super, super serious. <laughs> They're being humble as fuck. This is like a million dollar idea. <laughs> this is actually amazing. One of the best things I've seen at this hackathon. Other we didn't pay this guy. <laughs> so where's our 10k check? Yeah, where's the 10k? <laughs> run, run me my money. Why do you think that like everyone should do a hackathon? Or should everyone do a hackathon? I think that the reason that hackathons are like the best way to learn how to code is when you enter a class, it's really stressful. You know, when you're doing like 6-1-A, so much of the fear is just like, oh, I gotta do well in these midterms, I gotta do well in these projects. To the point where it's not fun to learn. You come to a hackathon, it's a really low stress environment. Admittedly, a lot of the projects here are probably gonna fail. But the fact is you're pushing yourself to learn because, you know, there are no risks. If you mess up on something, no one's gonna punish you for it. So this really encourages you to like push out of your comfort zone. It was really hard. It's not a joke, I'll say that much. Yeah, but I'm I really proud, I think we did good. No, I'm proud of us because we did not get pushed around out there. We had a good idea. It's something that we made for ourselves, so that's already respectable. So we gotta walk away feeling pretty decent about ourselves. So yeah, you know, proud of the team. Yeah, yeah proud yeah, of the proud team of the today. Team. Um, for sure, well done guys. We're about to take a fat nap. Yeah. Oh, fat. I think anyone anyone can that's enter CalHacks, but not everyone can survive it. I'll say that much. That's great.